Finally, India made its first semiconductor chip, the Vikram 32-bit processor. But wait, do you know what a microprocessor is? So let's break it down at the top level. It has four main units, processing, control, memory, and interface. The processing unit does the work, the control unit manages operations, registers act like a local memory to help with communication, and interface connects to the external world. At its core, a microprocessor really does just two things, read and write. Simple. Microprocessor needs instructions to do things, and these instructions can be written in high-level languages like C or C++. Here's a catch. It only understands zeros and ones. When we write C or C++ code, this code is compiled into assembly language, but it changes for every microprocessor. The assembler that refers to the manufacturer's instruction set and converts it into machine code. And these binary instructions are the ones microprocessor finally executes. So in the end, a microprocessor may look complex, but it's simply a CPU on a chip, turning your code into zeros and ones to get the job done.